I was told that um, I should dress uh, formally today, but I promise you that um, I'm soon going to to dress up uh, uh, a bit better and become part of your fraternity so that I can look as good as you do. Huh? So you will, if you will bear over with, with me just for a little while, Wildy. Um, I must say that um, I'm very happy to be here, but first of all, I'd like to, to acknowledge, of course, uh, Minister Blackett and the Deputy Chief of Education. Later on, um, Minister Bayer will join us, Mrs. Wiltshire Gay and members of the National HIV AIDS Commission, members of the media. And ladies and gentlemen, I would like to uh, say that I'm really pleased for the European Union to be associated with this very important initiative. Um, under our 120 million Barbados dollars um, support to the Barbados Human Resource Development Program. Transition from primary to secondary school is one of the most critical stages in the social, emotional, and psychological development of our children. Indeed, during the period of their, uh, this period of, of their lives, the children are also experiencing other transitions, such as uh, puberty, mm -hmm. physical and sexual attractions, um, independence from their parents, seeking independence from their parents, some people might say difficulty relating to their parents, and the pressures of belonging. These changes can cause their transition uh, from primary to secondary school to become very stressful, creating the conditions where they're vulnerable to negative behaviors such as bullying, drug use, and, s and early sexual activity. As serious as these challenges are, um, in my three years in Barbados, I have noted that they appear to be overshadowed by focus on the academic aspect of the transition period. In May, everybody is asking, who is passing 11 plus? And what's the result? <laughs> For our part, we have assisted uh, with a small token gesture through uh, the provision of school kits for, for students participating in the Barbados Secondary School entrance uh, <laughs> examination. But what I really want to say is that um, I have continued to, and I have in actually continued to impress that on my team. There we are. I've already uh, acknowledged you, so that's a good, good, good thing you came. <laughs> and, um, and also, by, uh, by sheer coincidence, you arrive at exactly the, the time when I was going to make my main point. So <laughs> thank you, Minister, for coming. Okay at that time. Now, I have, um, I'm impressed on my team that we, uh, we need to do more beyond that exam, the 11 plus. I'm particularly concerned with uh, what support measures are in place for those students who do not appear in the, ten, in the top 10 percentile and for whom the media writes practically no stories at all. This is a subject that, um, that I and my wife, who is actually an educationist and a sociologist as well, have discussed at great length. And I've even discussed it with Prime Minister Stewart and with Minister Jones as well, and now with, with, with two more ministers. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm equally um, concerned by the support systems that are in place for students with undetected um, physiological and development challenges those faced with uh, socioeconomic hardships, and those who are uh, victims of physical and psychological, <coughs> psychological abuse that we hear more and more about uh, in, in the press these days. Uh, these unfortunate circumstances may influence a child's academic performance um, and psychological well-being, and may make them more susceptible to at risk behaviors. Addressing the consequences of a rising at risk youth population engages much of the work of the development community. 
Um, this is not only a social problem. It is also a growing economic problem. The response has become one of parallel actions, uh, tackling the symptoms of the problem of uh, at-risk youth, while trying to address at the same time the root causes of the behaviors that put them at risk in the first place. This transition to the secondary T2S program that we are launching today is therefore a crucial part of that solution. Speaking both as a member of an organization that is in the forefront of the fight for children's rights, but more importantly as a parent, um, I believe that it's our collective responsibility to create an environment where our children can thrive, where they feel protected, cared for, and respected. Uh, topics such as drugs, sexuality, bullying, and HIV are uncomfortable issues to talk about, especially um, within the school context. But these are subjects that we must talk about. Indeed, it is better to address these issues now rather than, top, uh, rather than, than topics of uh, drug abuse, uh, youth-related violence, uh, and, and, and teenage pregnancy later. So we support wholeheartedly the approach adopted by this program since it is uh, important that students uh, they have access to correct information on such sensitive subjects from reliable sources in a wholesome environment. Uh, when such protective environments are created at school, at home, in church, and within communities, children are more likely to talk about those issues and to seek help from trusted persons without fear and judgment um, when they have problems. It is therefore um, hoped that the healthy coping skills derived from this program will aid students not only in their transition to secondary school, but will also be transferable as they uh, transition to other milestones in their lives. So we applaud in the European Union the efforts of the Barbados HIV uh, AIDS Commission and the Minister of Education in conceptualizing this initiative, and we wish you every success in its implementation. Dr. Boyce, who is our education expert in the uh, European Union delegation, uh, and I, we talked about it this morning, will actually take a very personal interest, and I think I speak for you too, in the progress that you made in this respect. I, I hope uh, that was one of the things I wanted to put across to you this morning. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Ambassador. We've shown you